All right, so we are waiting for the bus to get here. As we go to the KCRA3, news, this is all the people that are going. And this is Spencer. Wow, look at how cool Spencer is. I know. Are you going with him? Yeah, I'm going with them. I'm going to K KCRA3, news place. It's in Sacramento. Yeah, the headquarters of Channel 3. It's gonna be good. The bus isn't here yet, so I'm gonna stop now. Yeah. Send me some videos. It'll be on YouTube. Yeah. Augusto, you're now in the video. Nice. I like this computer. I'm I'll so happy for you. Oh, what? Hey. <laughs> oh my God. The bus is here, please. Oh my god, you're my hero! This is this for life! <laughs> so, uh, I'll, I'll go on the bus and I'll, I'll give you guys You have a problem with vlogging? No, I love you. Okay, well, you're now in the video. <laughs> <laughs> guys, my hitchhiking isn't working. Oof. I know what I did wrong. <laughs> Look at how nice this bus is though. It's very nice. I'm gonna try and record getting on it. We are on the bus, boys. Here, I'm gonna sit here. Because why not? These chairs are comfy. How nice they are. Started uh, to move. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Brooker is having problems finding a seat. <laughs> Look at the beautiful scenery. This is a very good camera. Okay. Yeah, Alright, so this is the bus. Yeah, that's what we have uh, the better blogger over there. He's doing the same thing I'm doing. That's who we're going to go see. We're going to go see Dirk. And guess what? We have the meat sub today, too. Wait, which one? Oh, my reflection is bad. That one does not look good. And it's good. We're done with Dirk. We're going to get food. Yes. Everybody bring candy money? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get so much Willy Wonka bars. My clothes are just going to have gold down. And now we are leaving the school. Ooh. There it goes. There's everyone out on the. There's no one out there actually. It's just. It's just the track. Oh, we can do the promo video at Sacramento. I will let you guys know when there's more interesting information. Jordan. So we walked out right as I did. Have a sour patch. <laughs> it's a sour patch kid. Do you want it? Okay. I live there. Gusto, you want the sour patch kids? I don't know. I used to do um nice. Uh service there. They're very bad at it. But I made their day probably. I was the big flower. I did not like Miss Burkhart! Subscribe to my vlogs are real. I haven't filmed a vlog in like two years. <laughs> this will be back. I'll be back. Yes. Shout out to my SoundCloud. Swag Lord is on. Go on Jazz's. All right, go subscribe to him. He's he's cool. He does really good. Subscribe editing. to my uh, SoundCloud.
So there's little TVs with button controls. There's button controls above us. But we probably won't be using these TVs despite how cool they are. Also, we're on the highway now. It's kind of beautiful. Look at all that dirt in the sun. It is beautiful. It's very nice. Look at all those cars. There's a car. The car goes right now. Beautiful. There's houses and other stuff over there. The, the beautiful views of the city. Um, hi, hi, Augusto. Also, I forgot to say, Dylan's channel, it'll be linked in the description. So make sure to check it out, because it's good. That should be what my channel's called, the only good vlog channel. It'll be linked in the description, so check it out. And this guy's like, yes, I am. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm gonna link your channel in the description. Watch the only good vlog channel right here. That's literally what the channel is called. Alright. You can subscribe to the scene as well. I don't know what your channel name is, but you know. Uh, you the only like good vlog channel. Alright, so. I've got a YouTube channel. It's called Blackest Boy Discipline. I just got a tiny video. I'm gonna get a real famous. Oh, it's called Blackest Boy Discipline. It's a real famous. Like, I already threw a one viewer special. Everyone thank Krishna. He gave me gum. CRA 3 News. Oh, look at those nice motorcycles. Oh, yeah. Those look awesome. I wonder what's down there. Jordan. How do you feel after this long ride? Nice. <laughs> well, look at the two kids. Emergency bail bonds. We're gonna buy bonds, everyone. Are you in prison? There's Atlantis bail bond. And there's also Spider-Man. Everyone is here. Very nice. Bro, they got a subway. There's an interesting Spider-Man poster over there. It's a, it's a really interesting Spider-Man poster. It's a, how nice. Alright, so we're four minutes away, as Ms. Burkett says. Goodbye, interesting Spider-Man poster. Got some people. Road work. This is very nice. Look at that. It's trolley tracks. Update when we get there. Thank you. Thank you for giving Have to thank the bus driver, you know. Good people. They drove us here. Shout outs to the bus for driving us here. I haven't vlogged. Guys, look at the scooter. Those are the electric so much to see. I have to spit out my gum. Is there a trash can nearby? Or something? Hey guys. Hey guys. Remember when we're inside? When we're inside. It's a dirt. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, is this everybody? <laughs> 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 it was like, it was like a couple weeks ago. It was for like two sessions. I'm gonna walk in last so that way I can try and record stuff. This place is fancy. Thank you. you to sign in. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Be like any of the sets that are on the KTRA. You'll be able to sit at the set and take a picture of yourself sitting at Oh, that's incredible. That's amazing. Like the last day of modern family. Those are actually recorded down in Southern California. So, those are shows that are Sorry. So, yeah, we just pay to show them our. The only thing we produce here is our newscast and also some special. Those are all news related. Ah, okay. So, how's your restaurant? Did you just trap it over there? Yeah, fine. It was yeah, good. It's a little bit boring. Excuse me. We came from Cowtown. Yeah, crazy. No. no sneaking off, you're not allowed to go upstairs. Where are you? <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you. Whoa, Andrew, it's the Popeye. <laughs> Look at all the magazines I was on the cover of. I had to get a bit of plastic. So, Yep. Welcome. I'm going to go to the tech center first. This is like a recording room or something. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah. All right. Is that everybody? Yes. All right. So this is Tech Center, and this is um, kind of like, uh, I don't know you consider it like the nerve center uh, during a newscast. Sorry. There's the person that's the crew chief that's usually in here. Lynn's usually here in the morning, so she may walk in at any moment. But uh, she's the one that lines up the, the signal. If we have a person reported live, we had uh, Tish was out live today. We had uh, Brian Hickey was out live today. And they're either going to be getting stuff in via a backpack, which is through a cell phone network. They have a backpack that has, I don't know, it's like five or six cell phone cards in it. And they use the uh, cell phone network to be able to transmit the signal back here to the station. Or we use microwave. And that's the trucks that have the big masts that go up and you line up the microwave antenna. It has to be line of sight. And so they will shoot off of, there's different uh, repeaters and transmitters and, and receivers all around the, around the area that it's able to pick up that signal and get back here. And so this is the person that's in charge of lining things up, making sure we have the video, making sure we have the audio. They also are in control of our sky camera network that we have. 
so they can move the cameras around in whatever direction we want. But this morning we had the marine layer that was working its way through the delta, so you point the Fairfield Sky Camera off to the west so you can see some of that cloud cover over the coastal mountains. Um, or if there's any thunderstorms or clouds or activity going on in the Sierra, you can move the camera around and zoom in to whatever's going on. So that's basically what goes on in here. They also do what's called a timeout show. So that's what Christy in that booth over here, uh, she Hi. does that. So exactly what do you do, Christy? So these are all prepping stations, these three areas, and we prep, we prepare all the programs that you see on the television before they go to air. So we have to say how long the segments are, how long the commercials are, how long the black is. Um, if you guys are ever up late watching TV and you see infomercials on, those all come to us, those are paid programs, and we have to prepare those to hit air. Um, those are super important because they bring in a lot of money to the station. Um, we have everything kept on a server, so every single show that we air is on a computer, and we're in charge of um, recording all those shows, deleting shows after they've aired, renaming them, the proper IDs. We have schedules we have to work off of everything. So this is the last place a show goes before it hits air, before it moves over to master. That's kind of a general. Do you like your job? <laughs> I do. I've been I've been doing it for 21 years. Oh, oh yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, long time. That's cool. Yeah, I started in um, news. <laughs> I started in news. I used to be the floor director. So way back when I used to floor direct for Dirk when he was doing weather and stuff. <laughs> long time, huh, Dirk? Yeah. Well, we came here together. I think because I've been here now over 21 years. Yeah, I think you started right before I did. Yeah, that's a long time. Long time. I don't know how it's. We were still 29, right? <laughs> yes, <that's cool. laughs> how did you get into it? Did, like, what did you go? I studied communications at Chico State. Oh, yeah, media arts. Cool. Yeah. I thought I was going to be an anchor. That's what I wanted to do. That's how I started. Oh, that's really then I changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, I was a camera operator for a long time up in Chico, and, and then we moved here. So, yeah, yeah, that's really good. Well, thank you, Christine. Sure, no problem. Master control. This is creepy. So many cameras, like TV monitors and stuff. Your voice doesn't look like this. So, what's the plan for bringing out? This is a mattress from Hey, Jerry's going to go to live with Kelly and Michael. Elizabeth Banks is filling in for Kelly Rippa. And over here is Judge Jerry. A very fine program. Okay. He's paid to say that. And over on MeTV, we've got Perry Mason. I didn't see you over there. Oh, so this is multiple channels. Yeah, this is, this is KCRA's wow. main channel 3.1. Oh my gosh. And on 3.2 is, is MeTV with Perry Mason. Over here is this is KCC main station. 58.1, that's Jerry, and then 58.2 is Rawhide, that's on Heroes and Icons, and then also 58.3 over here is Chance Television. Uh -huh. So if you have over the air, you can get these things for some cable channels have these things. Mostly it's three channels. Pretty much what goes on here is that, that uh, there's programs, there's commercials, there's promos, and there's music. And traffic puts together a paper log with all the events of the day, a new segment, a program segment, a commercial promotion, and we make a paper log of it. And it's basically roughly like from 9 to 10, these commercial promos and program segments are going to play at that time. So they, they kind of roughly figure it out. Then we actually record the show. This show is recorded in the morning at 6 a.m. Christy times it, we put it in the playlist, and we time it out to it hit. You know, it's like 10, ten seconds short, or we add like promo ID to make it hit all the time. So they, this, this comes from traffic with all of the data there, and it's translated into a language that we can play on the air in the server. Everything is recorded and put into a server with a, a house ID number, which is the, the commercial and promo for a six digit number. The, the, um, the show IDs are two alpha characters with some kind of other numeric character. The job description here is long periods of extreme boredom, punctuated with moments of extreme panic. 
But then as time goes by and the automation gets better and, and the, the system is so much redundant, if something fails on the air, it automatically brings to a backup. So pretty much this system, I can say lately not so much, but it's 99.7% good. It's always going to be there for you. The problem you have with this kind of automation is the humans that get involved. Because the humans will make mistakes, and then you'll have like bars or black or something on the air. You have to figure out why. But mostly the people that come in here, they check everything before it happens to make sure everything's going to be okay. So it's probably, by the time the day is over, it's probably checked three times by three different people. So it doesn't go wrong. But even then, you know, there's going to be, there's going to be situations that come up where something does go wrong. Anybody got a question? Yeah. How long have you been doing I've been working here 23 years. I ran a master control on another station for like four years before other years. So y'all keep there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, quite a bit longer than me. I've been in longer there, but only like four years. Mm. Yes, sir. Come down to the question. Oh, what are those rings on? The top ones are like audio. Audio and digital world is called LKFS. And the, the proper level of audio going out over the air is in this. Format is minus 24. So minus 24, if it goes above minus 24, the, the system, uh, what's it called? Anyway, it, it adjusts it. It pushes it back down. So it's not, the commercials are not over a level. Yeah. If you look at value C, it's here where minus 24 is where you may be able to do where it is. Yeah. They're pretty much all minus 24. So if it gets too loud, the system will compress it back down, the commercial back down. So that we note those on the transmitter logs when we take a reading of the two hours of what that that level is. That was a couple of years ago that was put in effect by the FCC. Because people were complaining that commercials were too loud. But it's like a movie, theatrical movie will be real quiet in a scene where there's just like nothing, you know, like three feet over a lake or something. So the movie's gonna be really quiet. Where in, in a commercial, a commercial like a car commercial, it plays hundred percent audio. They want you to know they're not even talk. So it's still going to have that jumping out of the commercial. Hey, Paul. Yeah, I got Brian trying to call his tech center. I don't know if you're able to take a call. Dial him in. Yeah, a little bit, man. All right, let's go ahead. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You, you go you. ahead of me. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, only when it's dark. Um, Thank you. I love those Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Alright, this is the control room. This is the news control room. And so when you're watching the newscast, this is the room that's in charge of everything that you see in here. And so what we have, if I were to describe it, if you were here last time, I think I probably described it the same way. Um, it's kind of like a ship. And if you're going to go sailing on a ship, first of all, you need to build the ship. And the person that's in charge of building the newscast is called the producer. And the producer sits right here during the newscast. And they're the one that picks all the stories. They plug in the stories where they're supposed to be within the newscast. Of course, the newscast is divided into segments of commercials. So the commercials are set, and then you kind of fill in between the commercials with what you're going to uh, do with the news. And so the producer does that. They also write the, a lot of the intros and parts of the stories, too. They can write all that information in for the anchors to read. Anchors also do some of the writing, and also the reporters do some of the writing. But the producers are the ones that are kind of in charge of that. And so they build the framework of the newscast, they build the ship that's gonna set sail. 
So once you have the ship that's ready to set sail, what do you need? Who do you need to be in charge of, of uh, sailing it? The captain. the captain. The captain of the newscast is the director. And the director sits over here. And the director is in audio communications and talking to the other crew members that are out there, telling them what they need to do to make sure that our ship gets to where it needs to go and without incident. Um, and so they're talking to people like our technical director. Technical, technical director is the one that's in charge of everything that you see. Uh, and uh, you can see all the sources that are up on these monitors, all those little boxes and sectors that are up there, those, those are all sources of uh, video. And they can grab, all those buttons on the board are associated with those sources and they can grab them and put them on your screen. You have the two bigger sections here, one on the left called preview edit, and then you have the program. And so what they do is they put what's going to be on air in that left hand section that's preview edit that's currently black. And they look at it, make sure everything's okay, get it framed up, shot right, and then the director says take, and it goes over to the program, and that's what you see on the air. Um, so there are times where, yeah, things aren't set up right in the preview monitor, and they have to fix them before it goes on the air. And then it's not just visual, but it's also audio. And we have our audio board that's behind that glass door over there. And the audio person is in charge of everything that you hear. So all the microphones, all the people that have microphones on, you have also all the music that's played, the sound that's, that's given uh, with the different stories, uh, any special effects you might have, all those things will come through that board. So where's like everybody right now? They? They're on their break. Because oh. we have a break between, well our next thing that we're going to do is at about, in about an hour, at 10.58 is when we have a little uh, cut in. And so they're off doing other things right now. They go eat their breakfast or lunch. For us, it's actually lunch. I just had my lunch at nine o'clock. That's <laughs> my lunch. Yeah. Um, but uh, so that's what goes on here. So we have the yeah, technical director, audio, director, and producer. Question. What time does that work? Well, it depends on what shift you're doing. If I'm doing the early morning shift, a Tamara, she's the one that does the, the main morning, and so she gets in around 2.30 in the morning. Oh. Um, I come in at 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh. I stay here until after the noon news, which is it gets over with at 1 o'clock. And so I'm done at 1, and I'll take off and go home. She's done by, she usually takes off between 10 and 11. That's crazy. So yeah, it's an early, early morning. Oh, and it's, it's busy too. It's really busy in the mornings. If you come in, because we've got we have five hours of news. So if you're here for technically it would be a nine hour or sh a nine hour shift or eight hours that you're supposed to, but you're really here for more than that. You're usually here for at least nine or ten. Um, over half of that's going to be on the air. You're actually doing stuff on the air, and it's busy because you're on the air. On the air, actually in front of the camera, talking every ten minutes. So it's pretty busy. So you don't have like a set sleeping schedule, it varies? I don't. Because, you know, <laughs> I work in the mornings, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and then I work the evenings on the weekends. So mm -hmm. I'm here, the newscast goes until 11.30 on Saturdays, and it goes till midnight on Sunday. So I don't get home until 1 o'clock in the morning. Where do you live? I live in Elk Grove. Mm -hmm. I was wondering how far you are. <laughs> it's about a 25 minute drive on some of the crazy hours that I like in the mornings when I come in there's no traffic and when I'm going home late at night there's really not a lot of traffic but lately on the weekends coming into work in the afternoon I come in at 2 30 in the afternoon and the road's packed it's crazy um, so that's changed because it used to be where here in downtown Sacramento it, it, this is really a government town a lot of people that work downtown work for the government the state um, government and uh, it was a ghost town. There used to be nobody down here, but now that it's all changed, you've got uh, the Doco area, you've got Golden Lung Center, you've got the Kings are playing down here, you've got events that are always going on down here, concerts and things, and it's always, always busy on the weekends. I miss the old days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now they're gonna be building more, all the rail yards area, that's gonna be crazy, so it's gonna bring even more people in. It's, and they've got the soccer stadium, it's, it's gonna be really busy. I'm gonna have to get my own helicopter to get into that one. <laughs> Any other questions about the control room? Yes. All right, let's go.
Thank you. All our managers are there and I'm really thinking about it during saying like I really need to check your thing in there instead of having to get her. Because usually the LGC is the assignment of the desk. And I'm based in communication with our photographers and our reporters. And so if there's something news breaking or something, we can jump on it and give them whatever they want. Yeah, basically just the, the nerve center of the run. I'm not saying we're the brain, we're not really the brain. The brain is really all of us together. But we're basically the nerve center to make sure that people get the information they need to be able to get their jobs done out there. And then get the information and then they fill it back into here so that it can get put into your shows and crazy out stuff. Um, yeah, if you guys see some breaking news, the people that you would call would be one of us up here. There's uh, several of us. We take your information, then we confirm it through the police or through other reports. If you had any breaking news videos or audio or anything that you wanted to share with us, you would send it to one of our emails or you'd call us and we'd tell you to uh, send it to us and then we'd go by it, you know verifying your claims. Not that any, you know, to, to say that any of you guys should submit to anything that would be a lie, but we, you know, obviously have to go through certain editorial standards. So we're basically the first line. So we would be the people receiving your tips, receiving your calls, and receiving your emails about anything that's happening out in the world, and then moving it up to the next step, uh, which is uh, calling you officials or calling you back, and you know, then trying to get your story through. Because each one of you guys are, um, are able to tell us kind of your side of the story as well. So we're not, you know, you will see a lot of times police say, police say, da, 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 da. We, that's just because they constantly communicate with us. And that's not where, you know, the story really is a lot of the times. A lot of times it's the story to you guys. If it happens to you, police might tell us the first thing, but we really want to talk to you guys about, you know, what happened. So this is what we're here for is to basically make sure that we probe as deep to get, you know, as close to the story as possible. So just taking you know, some press release from somebody saying, Hey, you know, this organization or this, you know, police officer says that what we want is you guys call us and tell us what your side of the story is, and then we'll go from there. And, you know, we gotta double check everything, but uh, that's, that's us right here. So, and we're gonna get the story back out to everybody else. And it's interesting because we have, of course, the TV is our main source, and we want to get the information out. Sometimes we break into the start of our new program, we would do. Uh, like with a tornado, a tornado warning or something like that, we need to get that on the air. So we'll do that either with a crawl or we'll actually have a person get on the air and talk about it. Um, but also we have our website and we give out notifications and stuff and alerts to people. So we basically are here are trying to keep everybody's information as, as much as possible. And then these are all just like our camera networks and they, they see things that we can't see up here. And so they'll they'll reach us and say, hey, we need you to call me this and that, or we're seeing something happen over here. So it's big team efforts. I mean, we're just really the first people to try, really try to touch on things. But um, yeah, when you guys see the report, we've already we've already uh, moved on to something else and taking more calls. So that's basically what we do here at the desk. And that's every news desk. Um, every news station is going to have a news desk. And may not have dedicated personnel, but every station has a news desk. And, um, yeah, we're waiting to hear your call, so you guys and, uh, and all your buddies and everybody else you have contact with, you know, it's just like, that's how, you know, you ever think of, you know, why do we know about this? We get information through here, there's, you know, five or six of us, we're waiting for people to call us and just to tell us. You know, I'd rather hear from when you guys call than from uh, some of the people staff here. We also have news groups you can send, so uh, yes. we video all the time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.
Um, and this is the Weather Center. And this is our newest addition to the Weather Center. It's in my window. And you can see I, I'm a meteorologist. I like to know what's going on with the weather outside, and I don't have a window to look at it. The only way I can figure it out is to still walk outside and look up. This way now, I have a window, and I can look at all the different locations where we have our weather center, or weather cameras. Look downtown. This is, yep, there's Golden One Center, New Stockton. Uh, Sutter Health Field. Field is that it's Sutter Health Field. It's just as obnoxious now. <laughs> I didn't have to answer the phone, so thank goodness. Lockers. Wow.
looks amazing, guys. This is amazing. This is the set. Oh my gosh. Is that where they do all the recordings? You can see what we look like. So this is the green screen is here with everyone. This is what it would look like if we were all there. On the KCRA 3. All this is, there's nothing really special to it. It's just the color. But you guys, can I have you step like a foot away from it? So you're not touching it? Thank you. Um, and the reason why for that is again you don't want it to be discolored you want it to have a uniform color because you know how it works right yeah. so the camera takes a picture and it's set to that particular color and that color is what they're able to lay over the video over top of it and so you want to have a uniform color mm -hmm. well and the fabric of this is actually a new fabric in which it doesn't it's easier to key mm -hmm. and so and it's an expensive fabric which is why my boss tells me to tell everybody <laughs> I'm not. I have green. green. I have green. I have green under this. Here, hold this. Oh yeah. Go in the middle. Okay. Where do you want your phone? Oh my God, he's still recording. <laughs> Oh, shirt is green. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh. That's weird. That's funny. You can see it that way. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. Roberto, put it on top of your head. Okay, so you guys, you guys understand that it's basically it's just. Yeah. This, this could I'm be invisible now. Oh, wait. It used to be I forgot blue. it was recording, sorry. Years ago, we used to have a blue chrome cake. And Guys, this is visible. Yeah. Everybody wore blue. It worked. So now except, what except happens? The person. You know what happens oh. now is that we have green and everybody wears green because green's popular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who knew? Who would thunk it? Well, and now uh, the, our weather people have the, the large monitor over there, so they're. Um, their horizons have really expanded when it comes to clothing. My wardrobe is crazy. Look at me. <laughs> All right, so that's the promo. This is where we use for the traffic now. So uh, Melanie, who you met in the newsroom, this is where she spends her time. The traffic computer is over here. She gets her graphics and maps all together here and then steps over into the wall to present the, what, the traffic. Over here, let's go this way. There's a green store. Oh, this is the internet. I'm gonna like put my jacket somewhere. I'm gonna put my jacket somewhere. Yeah, that I can be invisible. Wow. You'll see there's a computer in underneath the tabletop. They have the little wireless keyboards. This is the wireless microphone that they wear, and this is an IFB. And what this does is it gives you a way to hear or get communicated with my cord. You can uh, plug this in, turn it on, put in your earpiece, and that way if they need to get in contact with you while the news is going on, they can talk to you. And that happens wow. actually fairly frequently. Um, the, usually the producer will say, oh, we're going long, we need you to have less time. So go faster. Or we need you all, please, we, I need you to fill an extra 15 seconds. And so they'll talk to you and let you know as far as time cues. And speaking of time, if you look at the cameras, oh, you yeah. have the teleprompter, which is the words, and then there's a clock, and that's actually two clocks. You have one clock that's on the TV monitor, and then there's that other clock that's that green, has the green numbers, the green digital numbers there. Um, that will be set to a certain time. So when I'm starting the weather, 
it can be anywhere from a minute and a half to three minutes that they give you. And it can vary, it depends on how they stack the show. And so that will have that number, then it counts down to zero. And so in, in, technically I'm supposed to be done by the time it gets to zero. Yeah. You can stretch them out. <laughs> Thirty seconds. There you go. Um, what's that kind of for? The couch is for when we get really tired. Oh, okay. you know, we, uh, we do interviews. Um, so this morning we had a congressman that was over here and we did an interview with Josh Parker. Right. John Lisa Gonzalez, yes. KCRA three. News at noon. Hmm. So, do you want to do on the anchor desk? Do you want to do the anchor desk? Where are we? Who wants to be the clicker? Me. Okay. So, see that green yeah. button in the middle? Okay. You are now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what you do is you're going to be talking about, first of all, uh -huh. okay, we can actually do dual forecasting. So you get to the numbers over there. So I'm going to say okay. San Francisco right now is 54 degrees, Fairfield 67. How are things looking at Lake Tahoe? They are 52 degrees. And <laughs> <laughs> they are 52 degrees. <laughs> yes. And that's those 60 degrees. Awesome. 60 Good numbers. Degrees. What's next? Push the button. Oh. Wind speeds. There's no wind in San Francisco or Fairfield. How are things looking over in Truckee? Yeah. There's zero. <laughs> oh, we're reading the numbers, not the arrows. There is oh. no wind. <laughs> <laughs> but right. in Yuba City, there looks like there's a wind. Yeah, a little bit in Stockton has a five mile an hour wind, but still less, but not a whole lot. What else is going on? Oh, look at the day today. Temperature at 1 o'clock, 76 degrees. We're looking at a peak temperature of 80 degrees this afternoon with sunny skies. What's the rest of the day looking like? Um, when the sun sets, it'll be 58 <laughs> And then before you go to sleep, it'll be 60. 60 degrees. <laughs> All right, we've got one more click. Should be the seven day. There it is. Beautiful sunny weather with sunshine Thursday and Friday. Staying warm through Saturday. The weekend starts to change a little bit. Temperature is dropping off. But what's the rest of the week looking like? Um, on Veterans Day, it'll be 77, and then it'll get lower, and on Wednesday, it'll be 75. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> <Okay>. hey, hey. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't like my job. I don't, I, I, I. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a picture. They have a couch for when they get tired. Jordan, you want to sit on the couch? Sure. Okay. <laughs> The couch. You want to go sit on the couch? Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Aren't they adorable? I swear they just couldn't sleep. They were so excited. What are you doing? Whoa. Look, I can sit up here. You want me to take a picture of you? I mean, it, it's probably better for the green screen. There's nobody to operate them, but if you step over here, this is where the operator is. And they've got five cameras that they can control. So you've got one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one is the one that's in the, in the uh, newsroom. That was right there that was pointed toward the uh, weather center and so they can control all those but there's also settings so they have a touch screen here and if there's a particular shot so let's say we're going to do weather they have one of these little buttons you just push the right one and the camera goes to where it's preset to go but unfortunately not everybody's the same you have everybody either different heights or whatever and so you have to adjust the camera to make sure that it's set up for that particular person so you still need, even though it's all electronic and everything's automated, uh, you still need to have the, the person factor to kind of just make sure everything's just right. Um, so that's what goes on here. 
Any other questions? Because we've got a little ways to go. You're about to go almost. <laughs> we've got almost 15 minutes. I thought you were going to add 10 fifties. Guys, this is incredible. You guys gotta be here one day. It's really cool. Definitely a worthy experience with all the lighting and stuff. This is really amazing. Right, right, Jordan? Right? Yeah. Yep. You gotta be here. Look at all the cameras. Look at this comfy couch. You wanna sit on the comfy couch with your scene? Yes. Yes. Let's go sit on the comfy couch. It's a nice couch. How you doing? Yeah, pretty all right. Well, that's good. This couch has so much meme potential. I know. I can literally recreate that. I can literally recreate that one meme with like, with like that one white chick and a bunch of black guys behind her. <laughs> and black guys would be one black guy surrounded by a bunch of white guys. <laughs> I'm also trying to recreate the way I do. This is like the perfect thing for it. <laughs> mm, comfy couch. He's speaking. We must go listen to him speak. Yep, it depends on the time of day. So this is our morning color and afternoon. And then we go to like the blue, we have blue colors. Any other questions? So, do all of you are all of you interested in career? There's music playing. <laughs> it's an invisible stool. You gotta float. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to KTRA Studio. I'm your uh, announcer, Yusina, and today we're gonna go over the news. Uh, at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. <laughs> Good job, I'm very proud of you. You have a two minute span. <laughs> Alright, guys, so uh, he's about to go live, Mr. Dirk, our, our hero today in this world. So we have to go all sit down over by this couch and be quiet as he puts on a live air. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, you have to be quiet and also, when he finishes talking, he still needs to be quiet for like several moments. Because yeah. you might, okay. otherwise, you two goofs will have to come with us over here. He said we have to be on the stage. Because those things can move. Yeah, because the, the cameras start moving. Here. He's going to go on air, and we're probably going to fail to be quiet. So. You gentlemen should have let these really? ladies sit. Oh. 
So I'm gonna catch Dirk going live on camera. It's gonna be good. I've never seen that. Hold on a second. I also heard that you called him. How are you going to let a girl sit on stage? I don't know, I'm letting this breakfast sit on stage. Okay, well, you should maybe get up. Okay. Thanks. Okay. 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 Who wants to anchor this? Are you serious? Just read the teleprompter. That's all you need. Like the... Look, he's so fancy in that, that suit of his. Alright. He's about to present the news.
Hello. Tracy. Good morning, I'm here to protect the time now is 1058. An investigation is now underway after a townhouse was gutted by a fire. The fire had started at around 4 a.m. and it destroyed the second floor of this house on Monroe Street at, Fair at Ranch Road, close to Fair Oaks Boulevard. Flared up again about an hour later. Now the home was actually vacant for a remodel project. Fire crews did manage to protect the very close by neighboring homes. I'm going to check on our forecast now. Peace to three in Los Feels a lot like yesterday. Yeah, it does. We're kind of in a repeat mode here with temperatures that were cool in the morning, but we're warming up. We're in the upper 60s to lower 70s currently for the Yuba City, Sacramento, Stockton, and Modesto. 73 degrees in Auburn, 72 in Placerville. And it's only going to get warmer. Winds are fairly light, so it's very hazy outside. We'll have a hazy sunshine through the afternoon with a daytime high forecast of 80 degrees. And we're not going to stop there. We're looking at temperatures that will continue to stay in the lower 80s through Friday and Saturday. It's not until Sunday that we start to see some cooling, and we'll stay in the 70s next week here. All right, thanks, Jeff. We'll be back again with the news at noon coming up in just one hour. Wow. That was incredible. Mm. Being back after that nice presentation. Shout outs to the bus again for transporting us. We are going to a, a burger place and it's gonna be good. We're gonna eat lunch because we get hungry watching live performers like that. Continuing vlog, we have landed in the area where we are going to eat food. Look at the stone path. It's very nice. Well made. It feels nice on your feet, honestly. So we just walk this way where everyone's going. I'm not really sure as to where we're going, but. Eh, record when we get there. There we are, Willie's. That's where we're eating food. Hamburgers, yum. All right. All right. So um, we have been blessed. After, so we, we we've eaten the foods. It was good, and we've been blessed with being able to walk around Sacramento for a little while. Oh, here is my friend Jordan. It's me. All right, and then here is my other friend Augusto. Hello. And we're going to walk around for a little while because it's going to be fun. Look at this beautiful wood. Look at that.
Oh, what if I took the camera and like looked at one of the license plates on the cars? That oh, way everyone would know that car. Because I was trying to figure out where it was. Okay. Ooh, let's the boss these guys. Well, I have to like bleep that out so that way I don't get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's like a, there's like... Oh, a retro arcade. Whoa. Here, this is a huge gift store here. Okay. Alright, let's just go in here then. Whoa. Look at all the old cars. They're looking at me funny. You want some golden sand? <laughs> I found Jordan. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> Why would you want to get some golden sand? Because. Oh, that makes sense. Wow, cars. More cars. It's a stupid camera. <laughs> it's really cute. Actually, right? uh -huh. You could if you want. People in a cup. Who doesn't want that? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, okay. You, you're right. Alright, everyone, so. I, we were shopping and I got this tiny little Rubik's Cube. It's like really tiny. Like look how tiny it is compared to a Gusto. Yeah. It's very tiny. And so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really mind at this point. Oh, look at that though. He's gonna try and open it for us. Cause he's a really nice person. Yeah. Someone hold this Okay, first you we just like pull it open like that. I don't think it's gonna open from that end. You can use a key. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's very oh, trying on. to do it. Oh. The key is going in. You're so sisters. Whoa. Take this. Out. Look at this live action. Sorry, my fragile hand's gonna happen. It's gonna go like flying. I'm scared it's gonna pop out. Like here. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. We, we will catch it. Is it so satisfying to tear? It kind of hurts. Oh, sorry. It's like really stabby, but it's fine. It's a stabby one. Do you want it to like pull it? Hold on. It's like... I want to catch it. Oh my gosh, it's giving birth. She's born. Look at that. She is. Throw the mother oh, away. Yeah, yeah, just throw that away. Throw the mother away. Here's my tiny little Rubik's Cube. It's so cool. Wow. Here, hold, hold the camera. Right, so, it actually does spin, which is incredible. So, yeah, that's, that's really cool. But, yeah. Well, yeah, you can try it. Oh, but it's like crap. It's like really bad. It's like really it's bad. Still, it's the fact that it spins and it's tiny. I mean, yeah. yeah. Why did you do that? You ruined it. That's okay, it's fixable. I can fix it. See? There, I fixed it. See, I'm smart. I can solve a rules, too. No, no, don't, no, no, no. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I'll take oh, it. Oh shit, I put my finger in the camera by accident. That's okay. Are you gonna do that cool design that everyone does? Yeah, I know how to do that too. It's so cool. Look at that. Yeah. All right, let's let's go. Yeah, I don't think. Hold up. Uh, I don't think we can go in there. That's a little tough. Oh my god, nobody likes these characters. Why are they here? We're on our way back. We just got done hanging out in Sacramento for a little while and I got to buy something. So the first one I already showed, I got a tiny little Rubik's Cube. Very nice. It works, malfunctions. Of course, you know, it, it's tough to use, but it, it works and I like it. It's nice. And then 
only other thing I got was this My Hero Academia book manga thing. So yeah, it's a manga. And it's gonna be a good shout outs to Jordan right here and Augusto over there. They helped me pay for it because I couldn't afford it. Really? So if you ever see them on the streets, tell them that. Yeah, if you ever see them on the streets, tell them thanks in case you didn't hear it. They're very good people. So we're back after the long ride. Shoutouts to the bus for transporting us yet again. And that's it. Yeah. End of the video. Look at Jordan. Wow.